Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the five easy steps on how to get your iPhone ready for sale. That way, when it does go to a new owner, you don't have to worry about them having access to any of your old data because come on, who wants to give their photos and all this other stuff to somebody you may not even know. Let's go ahead and get started with step number one. So the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to back up the device, because you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all your data is going to transfer over to the new device and you're not gonna lose anything. So to do that, there's two different methods. You can do it directly on the device itself, or you can do it on a computer. I'm gonna walk you through both methods. However you wanna do it, I got you covered, but we're gonna go through it on the device first. So you're gonna to wanna to go into the settings app, tap on your name at the top, tap onto iCloud and go to iCloud backup. Now here you will see an option that says backup now. Tap on that and you're just gonna to have to wait a little bit for this to back up. Now, so you should be good there, but not everybody has enough iCloud space to back everything up on iCloud. And that's where the computer option comes in. And that's why I'm gonna show you that process as well. To do the computer option, you're gonna to want to plug your iPhone into your computer using the USB to lightning cable. Now I'm walking you through on the computer on a Mac. PC is gonna be a little bit different because you're probably going to have to download maybe iTunes. I'm honestly not sure. So I can't really help you if you are a Windows user. I'm the Apple bias, sorry guys. Once the phone is plugged in, you can open up the Finder app, scroll up on the side navigation and you should see your phone listed. Tap on it, you may get an option that asks you to trust the device. You'll have to enter your passcode in on the phone itself and then it will let you into the next screen. If you don't get that, don't worry. It's probably because you plugged it in before and it's already trusted. Now in here, you may have to do an initial sync. Not a big deal. It just takes a few minutes or less. And once you have that sync complete, then you'll see an option to back up now. Now below that, there is also another option that says encrypt backups. What this does is it allows you to enter a password that you can then secure your backup. In doing so, it actually backs up more data than it would normally. So it's going to get your like Wi-Fi passwords and other saved passwords and stuff like that. Maybe even your wallet credit card info. It just wants to make sure before it would back up anything like that, that everything is encrypted and more secure so nobody can get a hold of it. You'll just need to remember whatever password you do set. That way, when you plug in your new phone to restore, you have to have that password before you can restore from that backup. Now that everything's backed up and secure, now let's go ahead and move on to step number two, which is signing out of iCloud. So to do this, we're gonna wanna go back into the settings app. Once again, tap on your picture at the very top, and then you can scroll all the way down to the sign out option. The reason why I have you guys go ahead and sign out of iCloud is because it just makes sure that that connection is severed and that the new owner won't really have to worry about it. We got one more other step just to make sure because the last thing you wanna do is to be able to give this to some new owner and them not be able to actually fully use it. When you go to sign out, you will have to put your iCloud password in just to make sure that you are who you say you are and you're not somebody else just trying to steal this device. When you go to sign out, you will be given another screen just to keep a copy of the data on the iPhone. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna be wiping all this up anyway, so I would just not worry about keeping a copy on the phone. Click on sign out at the top and then sign out again at the bottom. And now it's removing iCloud from your device. Now, once you see this screen, you can see at the very top of the settings app, you are now officially signed out. It does not have your picture or email or any other info up there any longer. So now we can go ahead and move on to step number three, which is completely wiping this device. To completely wipe the device, if you've left settings for some reason, you can go back into settings and then you want to scroll to general and then in general, General, you want to scroll all the way down and you get the option to transfer or reset phone. Go ahead and tap that option. And then in here, you have the option to reset or erase all content and settings. We're gonna to wanna to erase all content and settings. Go ahead and continue. Once on this screen, you will have to put in your passcode 
So you just go ahead and type that in really fast. And then you have an option to erase the iPhone. Tap on that, wait just a few seconds, you will see the Apple icon loading. Now that we have signed out of iCloud and wiped the iPhone, step number four is actually just a verification step to make sure that the iPhone has been fully removed from iCloud. So to do this, you're gonna have to go to iCloud.com slash find. I will also put the link down below. Once you log into here, you'll have an option at the very top. You'll see a map and then at the very top, you'll have an option that says all devices. Click on that and it will list every device that is currently signed into your iCloud account. So in here, if you see the iPhone or the device listed, you can select it. If you don't see it listed, you're good to go. You can go on to step five. But if you do see it listed, you're gonna need to go through and click on the item. Once you click on the device, you'll get a little window in the top left corner with an option to erase. So you'll wanna click on that erase button. It's gonna probably make you type in your password again. If you have two-factor authentication on, you're gonna to have to go through that process. But once it erases, it may also log you out. Give it a few minutes, cause it takes a little while for it to connect to the device to actually start the erasing process. Once it's erased, then you'll log back into the iCloud.com slash find and go back to all devices. The device should still be listed. Click on it and now you'll have an option to remove device. Once you remove it, it's gonna take another minute or two, then the device is gonna be completely removed and ready to go for the new owner. So step number five, you are all done. Go ahead, sell the device, and enjoy the extra money that you have for whatever you need it for. If you found this video helpful at all, please hit that thumbs up, and I have a whole how-to section right here that you guys can watch at your leisure. I will see you all in the next one. God bless.